Okay, you're almost done, but not quite. Mom is almost done, but not quite. She still has to expel the placenta. Okay, so um, so what you're going to see, generally speaking, you're going to see the baby comes out. There may be blood with the baby a little bit, and that's often because maybe there's just a little bloody mucus or the mom tore a little bit. But there's not a ton of blood when the baby comes out. Um, and generally, there's, you're not going to see blood in any quantity um, for several minutes. When, but you're kind of watching. You're standing back. You're keeping the energy in the place low, which it needs to, to keep the oxytocin flowing. You've got the baby skin to skin with mom. They, they need to have that skin contact. Skin to skin with mom so that, as Mary said, the oxytocin is flowing. That encourages the uterus to keep cramping down. It'll usually take three to four minutes after the birth for the mom to be aware of cramping. If it's her first baby, she may not even notice it. So, but she'll have cramping that um, feels like menstrual cramps. And when, if she says something about it, then you can say, oh, good. Um, you are watching the cord and you're watching where the baby came out so that you can see a gush of blood. And there should be a gush of blood. Usually, in my experience, it's going to take at least five minutes after that birth before you see that gush of blood. And generally, it could be 20 to 30 minutes. That's not unusual. Um, in a hospital, they're anxious to get that placenta out right now, but in normal physiological birth, it isn't quite that fast most of the time. So um, when you see a gush of blood, and it may look like quite a bit, but it's probably a quarter cup or less, um, you're, don't panic. That means the placenta has peeled off of the uterine wall. Basically, the placenta is a flat pancake attached to the uterine wall, and as the wall contracts, that pancake's going to shear off, you see? And by clamping down tightly, the uterus clamps off the blood vessels that were open behind that placenta, and so we want the, placenta, we want the uterus to clamp down tightly. That's the main goal of all of this. So the cramps may be, in a mom that's had a couple babies, they may be pretty strong. And you can feel all the sympathy you want, but actually you're happy about that. Because that just means her, her uterus is doing what it should. And the placenta comes, you'll, you'll see this hanging out. You may notice that all of a sudden it, the cord looks longer, meaning the uterus has slipped down and is coming out. You may not notice that. A lot of times I don't. The placenta, you mean? Oh, I'm sorry. Just say that You don't again. want the uterus to come out. You want the <laughs> placenta to come out. Okay. So sorry. Just start again and just start that one okay. part again. So you may see the cord lengthen. Uh, from the outside, which means the placenta has slipped down out of the uterus and is coming down the, the, the vagina. Um, you may not see that, though. A lot of times you don't. Um, when you see that gush of blood, it's appropriate to ask the mom, are you having some cramps? And she says yes. And you say, next time you have a cramp, I want you to give a push. And she'll feel like, oh, I'm so done pushing. But She's going to give a push, and you can give a little bit of cord traction so that she has something to aim for because she just pushed a hard little ball out of, out of her, and now she's pushing jello. So you can wrap this around your fingers a couple times and give it some gentle traction only when she is pushing, only when she's having a contraction. <coughs> okay? You keep your hands off her belly because if you start doing this, when the placenta is still inside, it can cause uncoordinated contractions, which can trap that placenta, and you will have much worse trouble. So keep your hands off. It's okay to put your hands there. Just leave it there, and just make sure that that uterus is cramping down. You can tell, because you know, it should be below her belly button, or right at the belly button, and it will feel like a grapefruit. But don't go mashing it. You can just put your hand there. You can gently rock it back and forth if you've been waiting a little bit. Some midwives find a lot of success in putting their, making a C-shape with their hand and putting it right above the mother's pubic bone, going in and just kind of rocking that lower uterine segment back and forth. You can get a contraction to go, but don't do any of this stuff until the placenta's out. Okay? I know in the hospital, if you have babies, they really got in there, but your placenta was already out. Okay? So the placenta's still in there. Now, you can give it a little traction. It may take two or three contractions for her to get the placenta out. When the placenta comes out, the best thing to do is um, 
wrap it up in something. If you, whatever you got, I don't care, plastic bag, whatever. Yeah. Try to wrap it up so, because you're going to look at it a little bit later to make sure it's all there. But now, now the placenta's out. You can you can put your hand on the mom's belly a little more firmly, and you can get in there and you can massage it. Now she won't like that, and you don't need to hurt her. You can teach her to do it. She just needs to make sure that placenta. And you're going to check her every five minutes or so for the first half hour to make sure that her uterus. Did I say placenta? I meant uterus. That her uterus is still firm like a grapefruit. Okay. And if it stays good for half an hour, you're probably fine. Okay.